assessment of lower segment scar thickness it is a topic which most of us find difficult so what do we mean by uterine rupture a full thickness separation of the uterine wall and the overlying serosa is called as uterine rupture the risk of this uterine rupture is higher in the presence of an old cs scar incidence of the scar rupture is considered to be about 1 in 200 women the women who have had a previous cs and are currently undergoing a trial of vaginal delivery a full thickness uterine rupture is when there's a direct communication between the uterine and the peritoneal contents which leads to massive hemoperitoneum and this can be very fatal and carries a high fetal and maternal morbidity and mortality the earlier scars that is the classic scars which are vertical scars along the linea alba have a more higher propensity to rupture as compared to the current horizontal scars so we can see that the classic incision the earlier incision used to be vertical and that has a higher chance of rupture the thickness of the isthmus can be measured by ultrasound by the transeptominal or transvaginal ultrasound or even by an mri ultrasound is an easy approach by which we can see the scar we can measure it and can do a morphological assessment also in a non gravid uterus the lower segment is around 1 cm maximum but as the pregnancy continues to progress it becomes as long as about 2.5 cm and gradually thins out this is a diagrammatic representation showing that in the non gravid uterus the lower segment is thin and small sorry thick and small but as the pregnancy continues it elongates and it also thins out the same happens that during delivery it further thins out so now we can see in transabdominal ultrasound we have to do it in an over distended or distended bladder and we have to take a proper midline sagittal section along the linea alba and we have to magnify it in a way that we can see the lower uterine segment here we have to localize the thinnest area and the measurement has to be taken by placing the cursor at the two points of the cursor should be the urinary bladder wall myometrium interface and the myometrium amniotic fluid interface and when we try to appreciate the normal anatomy we can see that in this we can see when we go from inside out rather from the fetal side to the maternal side we can see that the point marked 1 is the fetal skull 2 is the scalp 3 is the amniotic fluid 4 is the decidua of the membranes 5 is the myometrium and 6 is the urinary bladder wall so what we are measuring is the thickness of the segment 5 transvaginal ultrasound it gives us a more accurate measurement because we can see the scar beautifully and the anatomy is appreciated optimally for this what we have to do is we have to take a panoramic view of the entire cervical canal from the internal loss to the external loss and then we have to magnify it such that the scar occupies more than 75% of the image the mean thickness according to a study the mean thickness uh, of the lower uterine segment in a pre and post um, lscs the lower uterine segment thickness is as has been provided and there's a small variation between the transabdominal and the transvaginal scans so basically what are we looking for we are looking for the scar shape which can be triangular or balloon shaped triangular is the normal shape balloon shaped is when the membranes are bulging out scar thickness can be 3.5 mm more or less anything more than 3.5 is considered normal and optimal scar continuity if it is present or not we are looking for the presence of a homogeneous or a non homogeneous scar if it is homogeneous it is it is a more a normal or optimal scar and a non homogeneous inhomogeneous scar is a one which has a higher propensity to rupture we look for the vascularity which might be difficult to demonstrate according to the machine settings it can be hypervascular or hypovascular hypovascular is a well perfused scar and a better scar 
So the good quality of scar are considered when there's a scar thickness of 3.5 millimeters or more. The scar is homogeneous. There is a triangular shape of the scar and there's a richer perfusion of the scar and the scar volume is as determined by the 3D technique is up to 10 centimeters. When we look at the risk category, according to some studies, the risk categories, according to the scar thickness, the high risk is considered when it is less than 2 mm, intermediate risk when it is between 2 to 2.4 mm, and low risk when it is more than 2.5 mm. We also have to mention, other than the previous mentioned parameters, we have to mention if there's any bulging of the membranes, especially on fetal movement. In case we are not able to appreciate the scar, which might happen in certain scenarios or even according to the machine settings, if we are not able to visualize the scar, we should make sure we are focusing at the lower uterine segment and take multiple measurements and then give the thinnest measurement that we are getting. That should be the measurement that we are providing. So this is one example in which we can see that there is a thinning of the scar, which is 1.5 millimeters. There is ballooning of the membranes. And this thinning of the scar is seen for a length of about 14.4 millimeters around 1.5 centimeters approximately so these all details we have to mention so according to the gist of the whole thing is that an adequate myometrium or the adequate lower uterine segment is considered when there's a v-shape of the lower uterine segment minim uh, minimum thickness is about three to four millimeters there is a continuity in the lower uterine segment which is homogeneous and um, preferably very small areas of increased echogenicity or rather no areas of increased echogenicity. And an inadequate myometrium or the ones which are at risk of rupture is when there is a balloon-like shape of the lower uterine segment, when the thickness is less than 3 millimeters, there is a discontinuity in the uterine structures, there is a larger area of increased echogenicity in the scar area. These are more higher, there is a more higher chance of rupture in these kind of myometriums and as much as possible try to do a transvaginal scan for assessing the lower uterine segment or the scar thickness because the anatomy is very well appreciated and you can give a very accurate measurement or morphological assessment of the scar can be done really beautifully when it is done transvaginally. Hope this helped you. Thank you.